At World Youth Day events in Lisbon, Ukrainian Archbishop Boris Gudziak of Philadelphia has told young people of the heroism and self-sacrifice of Ukrainian soldiers defending their country against Russia's ongoing large-scale invasion. Hundreds of thousands of young people have joined the defense, and they are consciously, maybe subconsciously, saying, you know, there's something bigger than me, bigger than my chronology, my, my life. There's God, there's eternity, uh, there's liberty, there's God-given human dignity. And I'm willing to risk my life for that. And Ukrainian young people who are here, and there's about 600 of them, are sharing that experience with uh, the people they meet. Pope Francis was one of those with whom Ukrainian World Youth Day pilgrims shared their experiences of war. Fifteen young people from Ukraine, most of whom had lost a father or other close relative in the war, had a private meeting with Pope Francis August 3rd. At the end of the 30-minute meeting, the Vatican said, the Pope and the pilgrims recited the Lord's Prayer for their war-torn nation. They related what their families have experienced, what the country's experiences, and it led the Holy Father to tears. One of them at the end said, Holy Father, uh, you have heard, you have before you, we have given you the stigmata of Ukraine. And your name is Francis. You are called to carry the stigmata of Ukraine. Archbishop Gudziak said the Ukrainian young people present at World Youth Day have a special message for the world. The word from Ukraine, from the people of Ukraine, from the young people of Ukraine is thank you. Thank you for your prayers for your advocacy and for your support. And we ask you to continue beseeching God for a just peace, uh, keep informing people, and help how you can. <laughs>